Hey guys, today I'm gonna make homemade cat food, which is I already done this for three months, and then my cat really really like it. So I'm making a cat food uh, since three months ago because I'm really sick of canned food commercial. I don't know what ingredients on the food exactly, and then sometimes some brand, my cats get sick of it. They're getting diarrhea and vomiting. So I don't know what's going on on their food. And then that's why I'm buying um, homemade. So it's very, very simple and you can mix it whichever you want. So I make this one every month. It stock lasts up to one month. It's depending uh, how many cats you have and how many times a day you feed them. This one is last for me at least one month, sometimes getting 40 days maximum. So I'll link everything below on the bio descriptions. In optional, you can add up vitamins on the food. But the really, really important things that you have to have two, one with the vitamin and one without the vitamin. So everything you blend together, and then you make separately into um, two containers, one with the vitamin, one is not. What I'm saying this because sometimes get getting hungry and you cannot feed with the vitamin more than once because the, uh, I don't want to have the cat overdose with the vitamins. I know it's vitamins, but sometimes vitamins have a strong ingredients that you don't really know about it and it's really good for humans but you never know it's really good for cats but you have to google it which ingredients cat cannot eat from human food that's really really important and that's why you have two uh, separate container one with the vitamin one is not with the vitamin just in case your cat getting hungry again so you can feed them without the vitamins you want. With the vitamins, you can um, feed them every day. That's okay. But you have a half portion how much every day your cat can eat with the vitamins. Anyway, so I start uh, now because I'm already in the middle of something and then I just forgot. I have to record this before I forgot. And I hope this video will help your cat and because my, one of my cats she is 15 years old she just gets sick and I'm really really worried about it and then I cannot feed them with so many vitamins just in case I wanna have without the vitamins one and I'm kinda out of stock so I'm making another one and this one with the videos so let's start it so I'm using a Ninja Blender Professional. Professional 1500. What's Ninja? Ninja Blender. This is a perfect for um, crushing bones, especially with the chicken and the salmon. So at the moment, I'm having a chicken frame. This is the chicken frame. I just cut it into pieces, so it's really easy to blend. Um, I'm adding up um, three chicken bone, uh, chicken frames, and cut it into pieces. One a big salmon, just one piece with the bone and with the head. So this is the salmon that I'm having, and I'll be blender uh, all together with the chicken. I'm having salmon because salmon have omega three and it's really really good for any animals, for any human beings. And some of the, because it's not really that fishy, but all cats love fish and they love salmon. You don't have to buy any, any expensive salmon. The bones is really cheap. And what you next, what you need is, is just a chicken neck, um, 500 grams fine. And then the last thing, you need a chicken liver and chicken hearts. 
it's depending how much you want to mix. So I'm having eight chicken liver, two scoop chicken hearts. Just say in your butcher, just two scoop uh, chicken hearts, uh, chicken um, yeah chicken hearts, and just put it, them together. Doesn't really matter. And this you blend at the end because this this is very very easy to blend. So just put them at the end. That's perfect. So I'm blending everything together, and I'll show you how to. So I'm blending piece by piece so it's the crushing evenly and then I just put everything together so I already done a few chicken frame on here so I'm adding another one just like so two or three pieces at a time perfect so they have a bones who's not crushing properly that's fine you just squish them on the bottom of the blender and then adding one piece and then closing up perfect so this is the three chicken frame it's already perfect I'll show you it's perfect so it's like a um, meatball yeah that's perfect so this one I will be putting another so I'm putting in the bowl jar in again and then this is the result then the next one I'm putting the chicken neck I'm just using a few like six piece at a time perfect and the next one we're going with the salmon you can ask your butcher to cut this one off for ya but i'm having because it's already closed down so they cannot cut them into pieces but this one you need to cut into pieces so when the salmon's ready been cut just mix it whichever you're doing I'm putting two pieces at a time so I'm making the head cut in half put one at a time because I'm not really sure with the fish head perfect just kind of fishy at the moment add another one So it's like this now. Okay, so the tail's not really cooperated, still a tail, so I just put it away. And then I'm putting the rest of it. So I'm putting the chicken heart and chicken liver at the end after everything's finished. So it's just adding up all of them together. So it's kind of very jellyish. This is what I'm looking for. So I'm putting another bowl for this. Okay, just leave whatever is inside the jar because you want to mix with the other ingredients to here. Just scoop it 
roughly half of the jar. to this jar kind of uh, half and then you need another bowl so this one the mixture of these two and we put in this one to that one again Okay, when you finish with this blender for the second time and start to put vitamin in it and you can blend it again together with this one. So make sure you label it with, without the vitamins and with the vitamins. So I'm having with the purple spatula in there, put the side and with the vitamin with the orange one so I can remember it. So I'm putting with the vitamins and I will be link everything below what vitamin I'm using. So just put this one aside. So I'm using the Mega B Complex by Blackmores. I'm using this one because this one is was on sale before but Complex B will be fine. This is the only one is on sale, so I'm not really fussy with it. And it, I bought it for eight dollars fifty for thirty one tablets. And the next one I'm using a fish oil, but this one is the one was on sale. Uh, fish oil with vitamin D. Fish oil, just the fish oil or M omega 3, 6 and 9 will be fine. And I bought this one for $8.44 and 200 caps. So it's really, really huge jar. And this one you can eat it as well for you. Okay, this is optional. It's depending on your cat conditions. But I'll be using this one just for a few caps and I bought this one $32.99 for 100 uh, capsules so this is for the vision um, condition for the eyes mostly by black moss some ingredients not really suit for animals just to make sure you have to talk to the pharmacy okay just to make sure you don't put too much and the big complex and I'm using the the vision I will be link everything below what I will be needed and for this all ingredients I don't put any water so that's why it's kind of be jellyish not watery so I just put another ninja jar in there and I'll be pinching the fish oil because this is just a gelatin you need very careful with, with the fish oil because it's very very fishy inside so make sure you not over spill on your skin okay just a little pinch If you're done with this and then what you do is just a scoop with the meat you need to put just a little little bit water
that's very very fishy so what you do is mix with all the jar and you need to put like three four minutes to blend it so this is what this look like and you put in a jar so I'm happy because this one is already contaminated with the vitamins and this one's not so this one will be non-vitamin and this one with the vitamins so this one with the vitamins one it's a bit pale rather than without the vitamins and then after this I'm be wrapping up so the next one you need uh, a cling wrap whatever cling wrap you have but I'm using this one because they have a self cutter there it's really easy for me to cut uh, but any cling wrap will be fine so I already done a few here with the vitamin one so I always label with the vitamin and you need another scissors. So, uh, because I'm using a marble table, so you can use a glass table. But if you having a wood uh, cabinet or wood bench top, it's better you have something heavy to hold the corners. I'll tell you in a minute. Get the cling wrap ready. Make sure it's thick to the table. Just lay into the tables. Put it in there. Okay, the next step is you need to get a few scoop. So I'm having three scoop or four. So make sure you have access there. sealed and you need to cut this like so then flip it the other excess like that and you need to roll it that's it and you need to put in the container So my vitamins both is already empty. So now I'm having the non-vitamins one. And this is the vitamin what I'm having. So what I have is four, eight, eight uh, sausage, say eight, uh, eight rolls, nine. So it's like eight and a half. So I'll be put that one in the fridge. Every time that I want to use, so I just um, pick one at the time and put just in the normal fridge. 
it will be melting in six hour time so this will be last like two weeks and I'm having the other jar with no label so I know this one without the vitamins so let's roll what I'm doing is I always put this one over the cling wrap just to make sure I don't drip, drip anything on the bench So here we go, so I'm having 9 rolls, put it like 9.5 rolls on with the vitamin and 9 rolls of without the vitamins. So this one is will be going to the fridge, both of them, whichever I need it, I just pull one in the, in the, in the fridge. So this one will be daily use, so one roll. I can use for two days, uh, one feet at a time, so I cut in half for one day, so this will be two days. So if my cat's still hungry, I can feed them with this one, not with this one, because I don't want to get overdose with the vitamin, as I told you before. So this one is going to the fridge, and this one will be going to the fridge as well. Hey, come in, eating time, dinner, dinner time. Dinner time. This one is always hungry. So this is the leftover from yes yesterday. And I just mix it with chicken liver, which was leftover from before. So just a little bit of water. I'm adding water because sometimes it's really easy to digest and because chicken liver is really good for cat's blood circulation so I'm hoping she will be eating this chicken liver so 
because my other cat is sick so she has a separate time to eat because sometimes the healthy cat get food more rather than the sick one I just make sure everyone's get even food Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone's love homemade food. Nearly finish. Mmm, yummy, yummy. It's clean. <laughs> okay, honey. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this will be help you with your cats. And so this is last for me one month. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>